Hi, I'm Tol Sinarin with the Dado Solution Engineering team. In this video, I'll discuss how Dado physical and virtual appliances protect VMware workloads agentlessly. Unlike the traditional method of installing an agent into a VM and pairing it with an appliance by its hostname or IP address, Agentless Backup provides MSP a way to protect their VMs without deploying any additional piece of software. There are many reasons why you might want to use Agentless Backup in case where it's not advisable. I'll get into that shortly. Let's begin by looking at how Agentless Backup works for VMware workloads utilizing the Dado Series appliance. Dado Series appliance utilizes VMware Storage API to learn about VMs, their size and operating systems in order to pair VMs to the appliance. An item that is worth keeping in mind as we go through this is that the storage API is not available with a free version of ESX. If your clients are running ESX free, they'll need to use our agent-based backup method instead. To take a healthy system state backup, the Adato appliance will ask ESX host to perform snapshots of VMs. ESX utilizes a VMware snapshot provider that is installed as part of VMware tools to pause all write operation while a snapshot is made. The snapshot is then transferred to the appliance where it's parsed, verified, and then added to the backup chain. The snapshot associated with the VM as part of the backup is then destroyed in ESX. If you're utilizing a virtual series appliance in VMware to take agentless backup, it uses a hot add transport method to ingest data. The hot add transport method utilizes VDDK fuse to attach the VM disk file to the virtual series. Data is transferred through the VM network when using the hot add method. The hot add method is the preferred way to transfer data to the virtual series. This will become evident in a few seconds. If the hot add transport method fails for any reason, the backup is restrained using a network block device or NBD protocol. NBD utilizes VMware management network to transfer data and VMware restrict the operating speed to a maximum of 40% of the network interface speed. This is for good reasons. If the management network was to become saturated with backup data, access to VMware core functionalities might be impacted. If you're utilizing a physical data service appliance, the only way to transfer data is the NBD method. Thus, backing up time will be impacted since this is happening over the management network and that is throttled. There are positives and limitations we must consider when doing agentless backups. Understanding your options and workload will prevent re add of systems. Let's start with the positives. Communication from VM targets on the Dado appliance is quicker and easier. This is true especially when used in a virtual series appliance since the VMDK is snapshot and the disk is paired across the VM network. Leveraging VMware tools to pause write operations of the VM for a snapshot and transport to be done over a storage API is more efficient than utilizing an agent from within the VM that relies on VSS writers within Windows to behave in a proper manner for system state backups. Both Windows and Linux machines are supported. And lastly, a VM doesn't need to be online to be protected. All right, let's examine some limitations of agentless backup. The big one here is backing up over a network block driver transport restricts speed. If you're protecting a 10 terabyte virtual machine, that initial backup will take much longer. If you're backing up multiple VM concurrently, the ingest rate per VM is much more lower. There is no support for ESX free as previously mentioned, the Dado agent software must be installed on these VMs and its operating system must be supported by the agent. And here is a list of items that are simply a no. Deduplication of volumes, spanning and shared volumes, multiple volumes using the same GUID, volumes formatted with refresh or dynamic disk, and finally, logical volume management. All of these are not supported by agentless backup. If you're trying to protect a system that is incompatible with Dado agentless technology, agentless will invoke the universal agent backup for that system. 
Universal VM Backup is the idea of any system that might be old or where the file system might be unknown, but still running within ESX is able to be still protected via the serious appliance. These systems may include things like vCenter, PBX, security and network appliances. The restore options for these systems protected by the universal backup method are limited to only image export and virtualized by hypervisor. If you're trying to restore these systems from the cloud, only image export or virtualized in the cloud is available. There is no granular restore for file verification or even individual files and folder level restore. All right, we cover a lot of information on the mechanics of agentless backup. Let's examine a few use cases in the demo. For the first use case, I want to show the hot add transport method. Remember, this is only possible when utilizing a virtual serious appliance. I'm here in my virtual appliance. I'll go through the steps by adding a system for us to protect by heading to the protect menu option and adding my domain controller through the wizard. I'll step through the wizard by picking on the default options for local retention, cloud retention, verification, email notification, and finalize the remaining step to close out the wizard. With the systems added, I'm ready to trigger a backup. With the backup running, I'm going to head over to the virtual service appliance and edit the system setting. You'll notice a new 25 gig volume is attached to this appliance. So this is what happened. The virtual service requests a backup of the domain controller. Since the virtual series identified as a VM, it will request the host to take a snapshot of the domain controller and attach the snapshot as a VMDK to the series appliance. Data is then transferred over the VM network from the snapshot into the virtual disk assigned to the series storage. For my example, I have created this 100 gig disk to the virtual series to hold a copy of our data from various backups. This disk will be a reflection of your series appliance size. For example, if you purchase a one terabyte virtual series, the disk will be one terabyte in size. The hot add transport method of protecting systems is much more faster as the VM network does not limit the network interface speed. Now let's examine backing up through the network block device protocol. I'm going to log into my physical series appliance and add a system for agentless backup. I'll quickly step through by adding the system. Again, I'll go through the default in terms of selecting local retention, cloud retention, verification, email notification, and finalize with the remaining steps. Triggering a backup over the appliance kicks off the backup over the NBD protocol. You'll notice, aside from the NBD protocol being in use, which is out of sight, the process in adding a system for backup is identically the same. The final agentless backup method I'd like to show you is universal VM backup. I'll head back to the add system wizard. From the list of VMs, you'll notice in bracket for my vCenter server is listed as universal VM backup. This system is listed as this due to the fact that that appliance don't know how to parse the file system, in this case for the vCenter appliance. To take a backup, the appliance goes through the motion of requesting ESX to take a snapshot. The VMDK in this case is added to the data backup chain. With the backup completed, we can examine the restore options. You'll notice there are only two possibility to restore systems that is backup with the universal VM method. First, I can perform a hypervisor virtualization. In this method, the appliance interact with ESX and perform the role of a data store. And second, image export allows for exporting of the data as a VMDK, which can be copied back into an ESX data store. This concludes the steps involved and the transfer type used to protect VMware workloads. Thank you for watching.